Relations between Russia and Britain are worse than ever. What happens if these tensions spill over into nuclear war? Today we will look at a simulation of a nuclear war between the UK and Russia, without the involvement of the EU and NATO. Stage 1. Initiation Russia will launch about five dozen tactical nuclear warheads to destroy the UK's military power. The strikes will mainly target military bases, as well as weapons storage depots and industrial facilities. The UK will respond with the same number of nuclear warheads, with a similar goal of reducing Russia's possible offensive capabilities. Casualties. About a million people. Stage 2. Nuclear War. As escalation increases, Russia will engage more powerful nuclear weapons and targets that will cause more casualties. These will be both the UK's capital, London, and major industrial economic centers. The UK responds in the same way. Russia has a strong defense of Moscow against nuclear weapons. But it is not perfect, and still some number of nuclear warheads will hit the capital, as well as major Russian cities such as St. Petersburg and Kazan. This leads to the deaths of millions of people. The main purpose of a nuclear strike is not to kill as many people as possible, but to destroy the very possibility of a retaliatory strike. All means of attack have prioritized targets. The first priority targets are missile launch silos, military facilities, major cities, large industrial plants, and dams. If energy, military, government, if power generation and transmission facilities are destroyed, the state will be irrevocably destroyed. As a result of a series of nuclear exchanges, the number of victims will be about 50 million people. Stage 3. Nuclear Fallout. The horror of nuclear fallout is its ability to spread radiation over a large area, affecting people, animals, and the environment. Exposure to high levels of radiation can cause acute radiation sickness, which is accompanied by symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and fatigue. In severe cases, radiation sickness can be fatal. An additional 10 million people will die. Stage 4. Global Effects As radiation begins to spread, neighboring cities and countries will be affected. Russia is a major food supplier to the world, and England is the economic center. After a nuclear war, the world would lose two pillars on which the stability of prosperity was built. And it will cause mass starvation, crises, wars, and revolutions in the countries which lived at the expense of help of Russia and Great Britain. All this will lead to additional losses. The victims of this stage are very difficult to estimate, from 50 million to half a billion. Outcome both countries are destroyed. Great Britain, in view of the sizes, will appear almost deserted. Russia will be forever changed and mired in a series of civil wars. Fragments of the former elite will fight for power and resources, which will probably provoke the use of nuclear weapons within the country during the clashes. This is all very bad. Let's prevent such an outcome and prevent the consequences by showing this video to everyone we can. It's in our hands to save our planet. Let's say no to any war and it's better to create something new than to destroy ourselves.